We're here on the West Kiwa between Mount Beauty and Falls Creek and it's an amazingly exciting day because we're releasing the critically endangered spotted tree frog. We came in to a lot of the areas that were affected by the bushfires to help collect spotted tree frogs and establish a captive breeding program at Zoos Victoria. We run a really big breeding program at Zoos Victoria where we work to breed up frogs, we head start them and we get them back into the wild on days like today. Today we've released 70 spotted tree frogs and that's the first of many spotted tree frogs that we hope to release here over the next coming weeks and months and into the future. So we're hoping that the frogs that we've released today will breed with the existing spotted tree frog population at this site so that we can establish a stable and self-sustaining population of spotted tree frogs into the future. This is a great example of science, long-term monitoring and the power of organisations with the support of federal and state governments, traditional owners and the community getting together to help save a critically endangered species. For us in particular, it's great to see the spotted tree frog be released back onto country. The spotted tree frog in our area means that we can become custodians for it in the environment and look after the threats of the invasive species. Today has really shown me that there is hope. We've had so many people gather here today to help us release the spotted tree frog and now this species has got a real chance in the future. It was just so exciting to see those little frogs go into the stream as they got released. So after years of research and lots of monitoring, lots of daytime, lots of long night monitoring, this is a pretty awesome experience to finally get to a stage where we might be able to kick that, that species curve up for spotted tree frog and it's a really start of a, a new survival chapter for this species.